bit off work. And I was planning on doing some fishing today, but it just started storming out of nowhere. It's raining pretty hard. So uh, before I even go home and change, I'm going to check out the river and see what kind of conditions it is. Let's see. Uh, the low water crossing is closed. So, uh, but they probably do that every time it rains anyway. level looks normal, which means it's actually gone up because it's been kind of low lately, so. The rain has lightened up some. It's not raining so hard anymore. I mean, there's other people out here fishing, so. I don't know. All right, I got my tackle bag here. This is what I'm taking with me. raining conditions so probably top water baits these are some they're crank baits but they they stay on the top usually they float pretty well some more cranks and top water stuff in there these are all crank baits and swim baits uh, frogs poppers it goes uh, not exactly what's gonna be going today but you can never go wrong with the uh, soft plastics in any conditions. Uh, those. Uh, if you shop at Walmart, this is the best thing you can buy if you're a bass fisherman on a budget. It's like a dollar fifty or something for all the hooks you could ever possibly need. And it's not raining too hard, but it is pretty muddy. There's no lightning, no thunder, so that's always a plus. Uh, not exactly sure, but this one's kind of got my attention, so that's the one I'm going to go with for the crankbait. I've also got some uh, pearl sankos with, with black flakes and some uh, uh, watermelon strike kings. Let's start off with a white colored one for now. Water is kind of clear, so. Oh, they're not black flakes, they're uh, silver flakes, white with silver flakes. And the train's coming. It's a little weird that the rain, the train would be running in the rain, but eh, what do I know? Let's see, I'm gonna try to get it across the river there. there it comes. Is that a fish? I got a. Oh man, it looked like a sunfish, maybe a rock bass, but he he had it in his mouth, but he wasn't big enough to get the hook to come set set through it. So that was kind of funny. One thing I don't like about the Texas rigs is uh, I worry about sometimes the hook not coming all the way through it and setting in the fish's mouth. So it's amazing how hard those sticks fight sometimes. Oh man, that was uh, probably the same fish I had earlier, but again, he didn't take the hook. I think I got him that time. Nope, he slipped off. He almost landed him that time. He slipped off right here at the bank. That was a little rock bass. Whoa! Shit. I almost went in. Mud. Oh, come on, don't. It's a little steep over here. Come on, dude. I'm trying not to lose my footing, so I'm losing my lure. Getting stuck. Got something that time. Let's see. It's a sunfish. Well, 
stop. There we go. All right, there. Well, at least I got one. So I'll have a video to post. Worst part about getting stuck in a tree is that you can always see exactly where it is, but you can't do anything about it. There we go. And since I'm here, throw it out. Ah, oh, shit. Went right through the tree and all the way across the river. Nobody can get snagged better than I can. Nobody better at it than I am. It's really kind of sad. I went out and bought that brand new rig to use as my everyday rod. And I can't catch any fish with it. I catch them all on the broken one that I repaired. Damn it, I keep hooking that one little branch right there. Come on, dude. Damn. See, what I tell you? Nobody's better at it than I am. Come on, dude. These, the most annoying thing. Biggest problem with buying Chinese lures is the hooks get tangled up. And it is literally the most frustrating thing I deal with fishing. And this is coming from somebody who gets snagged on everyone and everything. More annoying than losing your lures, the hooks getting snagged and tangled up together. Oh, look. Snapping turtle straight across. You know what? One of these days I'm gonna have my own little tournament to see who can catch the most sticks. Oh, you know what? Look, he's over here under the lily pads. You can see all the lily pads moving as he passes through them. I don't know if you can see it, but I can see them all. It's kind of like in uh, the Lost World Jurassic Park when the T-Rexes are coming and they can see the trees all being knocked down out of the way. That's what it looks like. Honestly, I don't like the Strike Kings. I've only gotten a couple of bites on them. And I've never hooked anything on them. They, uh, they're not scented. They're not salted the way Yum Dingers and Yamamoto's are. They're just... It's just a plastic lure worm. That's all it is. There's nothing to it. Like you gotta. It's almost like I want to go and scent the thing myself. Current's picking up some, so the water level might actually be rising. Bunch of garbage floating down now. And the water is not clear at all anymore. It just got murky, murked up. <laughs> a little murky. It is time to move on. Well, at least I got one fish. Never have any luck with bass in the rain. That's my one of my goals. My goals would be to catch a bass in the rain. Uh, maybe to catch something on a strike king since I can't seem to get any bites with it. But uh, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and put my cameras and gear away so none of it gets wet and uh, I'll splice together a video with out of all this with the one fish <laughs>